Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see how to configure base object and landing table in MDM version 10. So we can check which version of the MDM we are using. Go to the help and about. So here you can see other MDM version. So you can refer my other tutorial also where we can see the various ways to check the MDM version. So let's see what we are going to use uh, the model which we are going to use to implement in the MDM hub. So this is a very simple model where we have the client table and the address table. Client have the columns ID, first name, last name and the address have the column ID which is a primary key, the client ID which is foreign key to the client, then the address line 1, address line 2 and the state. So you can use n number of columns, but it is uh, it is for the demo. So we have used only couple of columns. So we will go to the MDM hub, take acquire our write log. Go to the if you are already write log, then it's okay. If you don't have acquire a log, and then go to this model schema. You will find this uh, navigator views. So here you can right click on the base object, add atom and here provide the table name like I will provide it's a PO and the client. The physical name is automatically populated and if it is appended with the C. So make note that don't provide the under c underscore in the display name otherwise it will be duplicated into the physical name then the database data table space and the index table space which is already created during the installation that will be automatically available here if you want to make this resource as secure just check as it's a secure or you can make a by private by unselecting it click ok So this will generate a bio table for us and we can add the column go to the columns we have to add the columns like the first name and it is varchar too so you can use the varchar it's in a label we can use it's in a label and the property as a 250 as a length if you want to make it so has default value means if you have if you select this then you have to provide the default value the other properties like the whether this column is participate in the trust calculation then we have to enable this whether this column is unique for this case it's not unique validate if you want to use uh, this column for the validation you can use that's validate apply null values means if you want to update the record with the null values then you can uh, check this box especially it is used during the CIF update cases GBID means it's a global ID whether you want to define this column as a global ID or not if it is yes then just select putable means if if this column is updated during the SIP update operation. So I will make all this uh, this column also nullable. The next column we will add is a last name. The same thing it will apply for the last name also. And we will save this. As we know the staging table is subset of BO so we will create the staging table by selecting all these columns as a sub uh, as a column for the staging table oh what is saying if while adding it is saying that there is no source system defined that means it is very first thing you have to define the systems so right click on the system add so for our demo we will use CRM as a system you can give the description as you want now let's go to the again model schema staging table at column 
this way remember do not use any c underscore staging name c stg in the client the physical name is automatically populated you can use the whatever the system you have created depending on the business need if you want to use any column from your source as a so as a unique column or as a primary source column then you can use and you can define the data data table space as well as the index table space so as i mentioned client staging table is a subset of bo table so that's why it is say we can see there are two columns the first name lesson those are from the base of the table we can select both of them or we can select only one or we can ignore both the columns it's up to us but for now i will select both the columns and the all other properties which is defined as in the view like if you want to use the lookup table then we can use the lookup table lookup column also we can use for this uh, a first name column and it is same applicable to the last name if you want to allow null updates for this column so we can select this allow null update uh, checkbox allow null foreign key if you want to update if it is a foreign key in the bo table and if you're interested to update the uh, foreign keys with null that is not a real situation or real time scenario but in case if you required you can make this enable sale update this is one of the more uh, one of the feature where we can allow the sale update through the cpp we'll select ok so this will generate a staging table for us so which is having two columns on the same line we will create another view color a uh, view table name as view address so let's see what model says model says it has a foreign key client id address line 1 with varchar 200 address line 2 with varchar 200 and state as a 2 so the basic property like the data and the index table space by, by default selected will make this resource as a private by unselecting that secure property go to the bo add the columns what are the mention in the model here we will see client as a cap because uh, okay otherwise we can use the integer as well okay it's not a level but it has default and default value is zero if you see if you make this null level the default value has default value is disabled if you make it some null not null level then it by default value will be zero means if you don't provide any value for that column the zero value will be get inserted in that column called uh, address ATDR line one with varchar 200 ATDR line two with varchar if it is varchar or varchar two you can use the same varchar data type the next is state with varchar two and the save so i think you are pretty much uh, comfortable with how to create a bo tables now the next thing is staging just click on this plus sign provide the staging stg remember do not provide under c underscore we are not going to preserve any column from the source system so unselect this select all the columns for our demo click ok so these are this is the staging table for the address and these are the columns 
the next thing we will create the landing tables how to create click on the so for our model what will we create for each um, for the for example we have the multiple sources team like the two like CRM and sales consider this scenario in this case also we will create only one landing table but if you have the two sources team then there will be two landing table one for the CRM one for the SCL if you have but there will be only one view table so keep in mind if you have the multiple source system you can define the landing table single landing table for the, all the sources system but the staging table will be each for one for each source system there are if there are 10 source system then there will be 10 staging table for the particular corresponding to one view address table one view table for example if there is 10 sources team for and we have defined one bio address table in the staging table there will be 10 staging table need to be configured but we can configure landing table as per our wish like we can define 10 landing table for the address for the 10 sources team or we can define one landing table for the address table for the 10 source system so it's up to us so in our case we will create only one table for the all the source system so the convention use the lnd and the client so here we are now not going to make it the reserve let's select now we will add the columns so by default the last update column is already provided by the informatica we will add the other columns like the first name which is 255 add one more column last name is 255 and we will add one more column that is called as a client ID which is of type number oh sorry which is a type integer so which is not a label so that means we have to provide some value the next thing we will go to create a address landing table lnd add address it will create physical name table space automatically populated that's it let's add the columns to landing table as i mentioned last update tape last update date is always populated for the all the landing tables we have the client ID okay so if I if you have the same issue well typing if you don't if you may send the wrong column name property you can't edit that but in order to search cases you have to delete this and add other column like the client ID which is number it is a child table so we can make it in a label then we have ADR line 1 which is varchar and 200 the same line we will add the ADR line 2 And the final column is state with the varchar 2 you can add the country state code and other relevant columns to the address and we will save it now the next thing i would like to show is what are the system columns if you show if you see here there is one checkbox which shows the system column in the landing we can see 
there are two system column one is source row id and second is last updated so source row id is if something unique id is coming from the source like the power from for example power center is the source for the mdm so in that case the power center is sending some unique ids those id can be populated in this column if you don't want to use this column like in this case we have used a client id like in the client table if you see we have used the client id as a unique identifier our case okay so that's uh, so if you want to use that any source column we can use as a src row id column which will kind of identity for us this is for the landing table for the bio for the bio table if you see the show source system there are 14 columns we can check like one two first is a row id last row id system means from which system record is coming dirty indicator this is second column interaction id third column dirty indicator is used for the tokenization process interaction id is used to check which process is uh, recorded from which process is coming hub state indicator to check re record whether active deleted or in pending state so this is fourth column fifth column is row id object which is unique identified uh, unique identifier for each record in the PO table consolidated indicator it will indicate whether the record is newly inserted it is matched or it is merged or it is consolidated record so this is the sixth column seventh is delete indicator eighth is deleted by ninth is deleted date tenth is cm dot indicator eleventh is created twelfth is created date 13th is last updated as like in the landing table and 14th is updated by so these are the by default informatica provide for each bio tables so this is for today's session uh, we have covered the bio tables how to configure the bio tables how to configure staging table and we will finally see the how to configure the landing table in the next session we will see how to maintain the relationship between the different table how informatica maintain the relationship and the lookups we will see in the next session thank you for watching the video if you have any comments you can mention in the video below or if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button thank you for watching